Now, we talk about the big scene of things, but we also like to talk about what's happening down here on the ground individually. And that's why I've got him coming on today, because I saw this article yesterday, and I was well aware of this fact, obviously, and so were you. But to see it in Bloomberg business, and to see that it's two of the biggest drug companies saying it, and Chicago researchers and top genetic genome project group of the federal government. I mean, it's just group after group coming out saying, biggest discovery ever. We discovered it. They're saying, give us prizes. Most cancer is being caused because your autoimmune system's shutting off in the gut. It's like HIV. If your immune system's already run down, you get it, and then your body basically stops fighting. It attacks your T lymphocytes that are the program cells that go out and tell folks who the enemy is. They're basically generals. It takes out your generals and your colonels down to your majors. But the gut is the, is the major front line. And so when it turns off and stops communicating with the rest of the body and stops communicating with the white blood cells in the brain, it's game over. Folks, they knew this thousands of years ago. I quoted, Anthony quoted Hippocrates, we get the Hippocratic Oath, do no harm. They quit giving that 10 years ago, by the way, or about 12 years ago. No more, no more Hippocratic Oath for the doctors. Ought to be a red flag for folks. And I just thought about group who's been the strongest person out there. Talk about the studies, the research, the facts about the gut. And then I thought about, and how are we doing, Nico, getting um, the medical doctor on who they famously den of, uh, de yes, uh, Dr. Wakefield, who lives in Austin, who did a study showing that it, autism was being caused by the gut shutting off. And then he found vaccine uh, derivatives in the stomach, antibodies, and that that was linked to it, and then it was toxic, poisoning the brain. Well, point is, there's now hundreds of big studies coming out proving it. They've always known. They've been trying to cover it up, and groups been proven correct yet again. Now, it's not just probiotics that are needed, and we're going to come out with one soon. We're working on it years with group. We want to have the super, you know, the very best. But whatever you do, there's a lot of brands out there. We'll get his expert view on what he thinks is good. But... Iodine, I'm going to show you the studies, is just as important with the thyroid ordering the stomach to basically turn on and activate. Now, that's in layman Dumbo terms. I have Dr. Group break it down for you. Uh, but how gut bacteria are shaking up cancer research is the Bloomberg article. And it goes right through word for word what Group and all these others have been saying forever. And, of course, Bill and Melinda Gates are obsessed with it. They're heavily researching it. They know what they're doing. And a lot of stuff's killing your gut floor. It's the pesticides. The Roundup's the big one. This has all been engineered. My question to group first is, congratulations being right yet again, because this is what you mainly focus on. Uh, but also, why are they now admitting it when we know these studies have been going on forever? Uh, what's the sea change there? It's like two weeks ago, the New York Times said, most cancers from viruses, as if they discovered that it's been known for 100 years. And they're actually putting it in the vaccine. We've caught them. So, so what do you think is happening here, Dr. Group? Well, I think they're being forced to join the bandwagon because they see the amount of money that's being made in the organic industry and in the natural healthcare industry. And they know that we're all putting lots of money and lot of, lots of time and lots of effort into educating the public. I mean, Hippocrates also said all disease begins in the, in the gut. When I came out with my first book back in the late 90s, it was called Health Begins in the Colon. Well, disease also begins in the gut because we spent two years researching the root cause of all disease, cancer, illness, and we came back to the general conclusion that it's all caused by all these chemicals and toxins and GMOs and high fructose corn syrup and pesticide residue. And guess what? It all ends up coming and leaking through the gut into your body. That's how all disease happens. So what's amazing to me, reading the Bloomberg article yesterday or the day before when it came out, here you have pharmaceutical companies investing hundreds of millions of dollars into probiotics, but they're still missing the root cause. You, you still have to address the root cause of the illness. It doesn't matter if you have the best probiotics in the world, which, by the way, you mentioned we've been working on uh, some amazing technology that you're going to be the first. Our company and your company is going to be the first ones in the world that come out with this. A uh, new probiotic formula, which has strains from 10,000 years ago. We were able to get some from up in Tibet in the Himalayan mountains, which I'm extremely excited about. But it all boils back to how 
the gut reacts with everything else in the body and the gut is just a pipe. It's the outside. I mean, what you take in through the food and the beverages that you consume on a daily basis, the stuff that's not supposed to go into your body is supposed to go out the other end. The gut is just a tube. It's 35 feet long. If you were to take it out and cut it open, it would be the size of a tennis court. But what the pharmaceutical companies and the doctors, and by the way, big pharma and the medical profession, this was the, the highly guarded secret to health. They did not want you to figure out that if you heal the gut, you heal the body. So why do I call this video so people, when we put it on YouTube and Facebook, will care about themselves? Uh, biggest you know, medical tyranny secret exposed. Uh, elite scared that this secret has finally gotten out because, as you know, we've documented, done hour-long shows. Bill and Melinda Gates, the elite, they're obsessed. They're all taking probiotics. That's how it leaked out. They know it's the roundup. They know it's the autism. They know it's everything. And they're doing everything they can to shut this down. This is a big victory that it's all coming out now. So uh, in a normal human, you have 100 trillion, let's say, organisms that are good, that are friendly, that are actually fighting for you. It's the army within your own body. Well, the let's explain it. They're the, the buffers that live in all the nooks and crannies, so bad bacteria and bad viruses can't move in. When they all get wiped out, the bad guys now have homes. And that's exactly what they do with the high fructose corn syrup and everything else in the food and the preservatives and everything well, let else. Let me ask you that. What's killing our guts? And on top of probiotics, what are some of the better brands? How important is the nascent iodine? Because that is a plug. It's a win-win, folks. This is really the other part of the equation, just as important, according to you and others, as the probiotics itself, the thyroid, the nerves, the gut. Uh, if the fluoride's in there, it can't communicate properly. Explain that to folks. Well, that's another, that's another attack with the toxic halogens because the gut, if you look at it, is the largest endocrine gland. And we talk all the time about the attack on the endocrine system, which is the thyroid, the pineal, the parathyroid, the pancreas, the ovaries, the breasts, the testicular uh, functioning in males. All of these endocrine glands, the glandular system is what's being attacked and there's a, a connection there. And without iodine, iodine is necessary for all of our glands in the endocrine system to function. So what they do is they put fluoride, chlorine, bromide in the water, in the food supply, which shuts down our glandular function. As a matter of fact, estrogen itself limits the absorption of iodine. So with all the xenoestrogens too. So iodine is an important part and that's what they're forgetting. You know, you have to have, you can't just have probiotics without all the other things working in, in unison as well. They'll probably end up maybe putting some iodine in with the probiotics, but it's an essential factor for a functioning endocrine system. If you, if you don't have the proper amount of iodine in your body, then your thyroid is malfunctioning. Then your pancreas is malfunctioning. Your gut is malfunctioning. T3 and T4, which are produced by the thyroid, have been shown to protect the gut mucosal lining, to protect it from leaky gut syndrome. Hashimoto's has been associated with a leaky gut. So thyroid, mental, Everything is linked to the gut. I mean, the Russians and the Germans knew that years ago when they analyzed the appendix, which our medical system still says the appendix is useless. They found that the appendix is the brain of the body, and the brain is actually located at the small intestine and large intestine juncture. The appendix is the microcomputer. It actually sends relays and messages to the endocrine, the neurological, the lymphatic, all of the systems in the body. So every single thing is regulated in the gut. Your immune system, your serotonin, dopamine production for the brain, the T lymphocytes, the everything that you can think of. So, and that's usually functioned by and controlled by the amount of probiotics that you have inside the gut. And that's why I think that the pharmaceutical companies are realizing that they finally have to go down that path. That's what they're doing. I mean, look at Bloomberg coming out with the article on probiotics and cancer. So it is the main thing. Well, what's happening what is mainstream media, mainstream science is literally coming out and confirming everything that you and a bunch of other medical doctors and the top experts on this show have said for the last 20 years, not just saying something similar, with major huge studies 
at the Human Genome Project and the Chicago Medical Center and all of it saying the exact thing you have been saying, which is what the ancients said, which is what has just been known. And so congratulations to everybody. This is another huge victory. And folks, obviously, you need probiotics and you need to get... But group, you talk about the pickled foods. Let's talk about some of the foods folks can get at the grocery store. It's not just about buying our products uh, that also help with the gut. But again, folks, you can't lose the weight. Group told me you're going to lose weight. You're going to uh, tan better without tan spots. Watch it. I got on iodine after six months. I didn't have the liver spots anymore. I didn't get the sunburn spots like I did. I lost tons of weight. I mean, it just turned my body back on. I had to have it. Folks, I know I get hysterical because I get so excited. I do the hardcore research. I look at the facts, and then I take action. I'm going to do five minutes the next hour to talk to uh, Max and uh, some of the callers like Dave and others that have been holding the longest. And then, of course, we have David Knight coming up. They have put glyphosate in the food and water by the... Uh, folks, look up worldwide amount of glyphosate used since the 70s. I forget. It's something like it's something like such and such million, billion tons, and I couldn't even believe the number when I've seen it on the news and stuff, so I don't want to get it wrong. And it's just designed to turn mammals off and give us cancer. It's designed to kill our guts. Um, they're finding that farm animals are getting sick that eat corn and stuff raised with the Roundup. Um they won't give this stuff to show cattle and show horses because <coughs> they're not healthy. They won't give vaccines now, veterinarians, to their own animals, except maybe once. This is a revolution against this medical oppression. There are a lot of good things in Western medicine, but it's been taken over. And the fact is, every day I see top news admitting and coming out with the studies they already had going, OK, you're right, it's true. Group, what are the good ways to get probiotics? What do you think the best brands are? Obviously, you've been super neurotic. We've checked into it in a good way. You are coming out with stuff that people basically only get at medical clinics in Germany and stuff, trying to bring it to the public. It's going to have ice bags with it and stuff when we ship it to people, but uh, it's, it's next level stuff. But separate from that, because I want to know, what's the best brands for me to take? Because I'm taking a couple different ones. I give them to the kids. Uh, and then... What other foods are good to eat? And then how important is the iodine in closing? Because, it, I mean, it really is the supercharger. Yeah, okay. So as far as the best probiotics to take, I mean, I, I spent seven years putting together the product that we currently have called Floratrex. And yours, the one that we're going to be coming out with, is even going to be better. It has 50 billion organisms that are live inside the formula and it's 18 different strains we're going to add an additional six strains and then we're also going to add that unique those unique strains that we got from high up in the himalayas so that's available right now you should have yours uh in stock probably i'm hoping in the next few months as well um and that's something everybody should take on a regular basis as far as just getting good probiotics naturally good organic raw foods and then fermented foods kombucha is is great organic apple cider vinegar uh any type of fermented food yogurts uh i want i do recommend that if you are going to take in any type of yogurt cottage cheese anything like that that you use a certified organic source and uh, move forward with that and as far as iodine is concerned yes it's all about teaching people how to heal themselves. And you can have one thing, and this is why the pharmaceutical companies will never be successful at this. Even though they're jumping on the bandwagon to do these probiotics, they're still not telling people to eliminate the high fructose corn syrup, to eliminate all the pesticide residue in their food. So they're gonna take the probiotics and they're just gonna be killed off by all the things that are in So, the So stay away from the GMO, but bare minimum, you know, things like sauerkraut, kombucha, uh, you know, let your kids eat dirt, folks. That's why kids that don't are so sick. Now, again, X2, nascent iodine, why is it the best form of iodine from our research? And, and why is it so important? And why did it make me lose so much weight? Why did I get better suntans with it? And you said that I thought you were crazy. What did it do to me? Well, first of all, we have a every single person in the world right now has a hormone problem. And that means they have alterations in their estrogen, testosterone, progesterone, whatever. It's not like, you know, five out of 10 people have that. We all are being attacked, including me on our endocrine glands. And those are your hormone producing glands. So iodine is the number one mineral and nutrient that will help detoxify the fluoride, the chlorine and the bromine. And it'll actually help repair your glandular tissue so when you help 
When you have a functioning endocrine system, which means your thyroid is functioning good, your gut is functioning well, you're able to break down foods and everything is synergistically combining to where you're healthy, you end up losing All weight. All right, we're out of time. Thank you. Fourth hour coming up. Infowars.com forward slash show. Get X2. InfoWarsLive.com today. Change my life. Try it out. Support the broadcast. Can't lose. Stay with us.